Howdy guys. Today we're gonna check out BKXC's new carbon bar and stem combo. All right, quick disclaimer. Uh, take everything with a grain of salt. I recently swapped to these silicone grips at the same time as swapping the bar and stem. Um, I'm not quite sure if that has changed my opinion or affected it in any way. Okay, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get straight into it. This upgrade is gonna be more about looks instead of ride quality, um, and probably more supporting the YouTuber BKXC and his new business, Trail One Components. For example, my last bar and stem came in weighing at 371 grams, and the Trail One Components bar and stem came in weighing at 354 grams. That's only 17 grams of weight savings. To be fair, I went from 31.8 20 mil rise bars to these 35 mil, 35 mil rise bars. So these bars were also wider at the time, so that's a little bit extra material, but we're talking a handful of grams here. Okay, the biggest weight change difference and what added weight to this bar and stem combo was the stem. Um, compared to my cheapo Amazon stem, which was 31.8, 35 mil length, uh, and this 32 mil length and 35 diameter clamp was 27 grams. Okay, with weights out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the stem real quick and my thoughts. Firstly, and most importantly to me personally, I think the stem is just flat out gorgeous. It just has an elegance to it. Um, the anodized bolts really kind of make a little subtle pop on it and then to me when I'm riding and looking down that is the thing I see the most is my stem and I don't want it to be hideous to my eyesight. I really enjoy the top-down view of the stem but when it really comes down to it a stem is a stem. They're not really going to ride any different. There might be a couple of gram savings here or there. Maybe if you went with the MV Composites carbon stem but really ride quality isn't going to differ at all. And to really just wrap up the stem, I primarily bought it because I wanted to support BKXE. I enjoy watching his content. I don't subscribe to things like Patreon. I'd rather get a product from the person that I'm buying it. And yeah, that really just wraps up the stem. All right, now let's talk about the bars. To be bluntly honest, I have never ridden carbon bars before these and I have only ridden these with these silicone grips. With that said, I can definitely see a at least small amount of difference in the chattery sections of trail. The biggest change, and I will have to say that the grips do come into play here, has been arm pump. The subtle damping on the arms over a long section of trail really helps from my hands and arms being blown out way too soon. Now just a quick side note, the overall styling of the bars is a little in your face. Uh, the branding is quite large and you're either just gonna love that or hate it. I personally thoroughly enjoy it. And then lastly, and I would argue the most important part, and I think everybody kind of has this fear when it comes to carbon bars, but so far I have had two pretty rough crashes. One tore a set of silicone grips and I just swapped some new ones on there. The other one, I just had uh, some scans yesterday. I, bruised some ribs, pretty hard to breathe, but uh, yeah, there's no damage on the bars as far as I can tell, and only just one little small scratch on the paint. Not much I really can say about a bar and stem combo other than they look fantastic. They feel like great quality and hopefully that they last and stand the test of time. Hope this helps if you're interested in buying these. I would recommend them, but again, it's kind of a budget thing. Uh, you can definitely get similar ride quality for much cheaper. And that's all I have. So thanks for watching. Oh man, they feel great.